So we learned which nutrient deficiencies cause the tongue to be sore or unhealthy. Now what are some of the other factors, or what is another factor that leads to candida albicans overgrowth? So the other big factor is your diet. Okay. Eating too many sweets and carbohydrates because candida only uses sugar to grow. So the more sugar you eat, the easier it is to grow. And you're not just talking about sugar as in cane sugar or sugar that you pour into a coffee. You're also talking about refined flours and carbohydrates, correct? Exactly. And it doesn't have to be refined flours. Any kind of flour. Oh, any kind. Any kind of flour. Okay. Um, because it's all flours and starches are digested to glucose. Mm -hmm. Because it's simple sugar. But sugar, okay. Exactly. And you have a enzyme in your mouth called amylase mm -hmm. that begins that digestion. That's what your saliva contains. So when you eat these things, especially if they're sticky things, okay. I know, like a, a yummy bun or whatever, and it gets I love caught. Yummy buns. Yeah, and it get caught and it gets caught in your teeth. Uh -huh. Okay, the yeast goes crazy because the longer it stays in your mouth, the more opportunity they have to grow. Okay, and so they grow, they replicate, and then all of a sudden your tongue is covered with white, stinky candida. Okay. And the other thing is, they need um, to have a, a compromised tongue, as we spoke before. A sick tongue, a basically. A tongue that's not okay. healthy. Okay. So when you have the combination mm -hmm. of too much food for them to eat, namely sugars, mm -hmm. and an unhealthy um, barrier of your tongue, so okay. it's not able to keep them out, they will dig in and start to grow. Oh my. Okay, so I can see that... It's basically a perfect storm causing this effect, and this must be why some people get it and other people don't. Correct. Okay. And it's very important to um, take care of your tongue right away, because if you don't, it will grow into an infection. Mm -hmm. And what that means is the white coating then turns into patches of um, a cheesy like material okay. that has inflammation underneath it. When it digs in, it's actually inflaming the cells, mm -hmm. and when you remove the surface, it will be red underneath, so you can see the inflammation. At that point, that's serious, and you have to um, uh, get rid of it as soon as possible, and we can talk about that. But my concern is that you will be swallowing that. Mm -hmm. It will go down your throat, it so it could affect your esophagus and to the point where you won't be able to swallow it can get that bad. Wow, that's I terrible. I know, people feel the pressure uh, in their chest. We don't want that to happen. And infect the stomach mm -hmm. and infect the intestines. And when people end up with a bloated tummy, they're, they're really sick mm -hmm. with candida. So now that we know that the cause of candida overgrowth is nutritional deficiency, an unhealthy tongue, and an overgrowth or an overabundance of food, namely carbohydrates in the diet, how do we get rid of it? The way we get rid of it mm -hmm. is to reverse the um, situation. It thrives in an acid environment. Mm -hmm. So when you eat sugar and carbohydrates and you don't brush your teeth afterwards, your mouth will become acidic Okay. because of the digestion of those um, nutrients. And that's what candida loves. It's an acid environment. So if you take baking soda, oh. it will re it will. Um, we happen to have some baking soda sweeten here. the mouth and bring up the acid to an alkaline level, and that will stop the growth of the yeast. Okay, so it's really quite simple, isn't it? It is. We have baking soda here, and your toothbrush. Now I remember before I went gluten free, I had this problem. And I tried everything. I tried scraping my tongue. I tried brushing my tongue. I tried using different mouthwashes and Listerine to kill it. And uh, the only thing that worked was baking soda. And it works almost instantaneously. You just dip your fork in it. Fork. Toothbrush. You just dip your toothbrush in the baking soda and brush your tongue. And literally within seconds, you'll see it disappear. And of course, you spit it out. You don't want to swallow that. But that is an effective, effective remedy that works almost instantaneously. 
Exactly. Now, if it has progressed and it has gotten to your throat, you need to gargle that um, baking soda water. Okay. So you take the glass of water, just, you know, a small four ounce glass of water mm -hmm. with a half a teaspoon of baking soda, stir it around and gargle that, spit it out, swish it all around your mouth and then drink it. And the reason we want to do that is we want to um, kill the yeast that's going and down. And that will kill the, the will. candida all the way down. Yes. Uh, or at least limit their growth. It worked for me. It does work. And it's worked for a hundred years that I know because my mom was a hundred years old and she used it. <laughs> that is amazing. Yes, it is. So now you know how candida albicans overgrowth occurs on the tongue and that is what that white uh, stinky patchy sometimes uh, coating is. You also know what causes it, the nutrient deficiencies and eating uh, too much carbohydrates and also how to get rid of it. The remedy of baking soda, brushing it on your tongue and then also drinking a half teaspoon of baking soda with four ounces of water. Well, Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has helped you. I'm John. Cleo. And we are GlutenFreeWorks.com. This is John Libinati with GlutenFreeWorks.com. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe below and share us on Facebook. Then visit GlutenFreeWorks.com where we have tons of information, recipes, and tips that will help you get well and stay healthy living gluten-free. If you want to take control of your health, visit our new Gluten-Free Works Health Guide at GlutenFreeWorks.com health where we use medical research from around the world to give you step-by-step -step instructions to quickly identify and fix hundreds of symptoms caused by gluten and nutrient deficiencies. Click here to learn more and click here to get access now.